Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what are the best Dior makeup products. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Tran. Use my hashtag CDRholics. If you want to share your post with me, I'll come like a comment on your photo. If you suggest a video down below and I choose your video, I'll give you a shout out. So all you have to do is suggest a video suggestion and also comment down on social media or a small business. I'll give either or a shout out. And I have a TikTok. It's at Trish Trin with two H in the end. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So last time I talked about Dior skincare products and now today I'm going to show you guys what are the best Dior makeup products. And I'm going to start off by showing you guys some Dior makeup pouches. So usually Dior, if you buy some like beauty above like $100 or $150, it depends where you get it at where you buy it at like at Macy's sometimes they have a thing where if you just buy three items then you get the makeup pouch or a certain amount of dollars then you can get a pouch it just depends on what the code or promotion is that day and also on the Dior website too there are a lot of like codes and promotions and all that so definitely take a look at Dior makeup and skincare so here are some Dior pouches this was last year for Valentine's Day this is a Dior pink pouch and it has a little D charm here and it just opens up as a zipper and it's just so cute and this other one is for Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year it's just a red makeup pouch in patent and it has like beads you can kind of hear it. it's beads and it says Christian Dior which I think is such a beautiful and lovely pouch so now let's move on to makeup products so let's start off with powders like eyeshadow and highlighters so the first palette is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in 001 Universal and you get like two highlighters and like a bronzer and a blush and this is how it looks. It's such a beautiful face palette so what I like to do is mix these two highlighters together. I just get my brush and I keep swiping left and right for the highlighter. It's just a really beautiful shade and I don't really use bronzer and it's kind of like a shimmery shade so you can use this as like a really nice glittery like eyeshadow and then here is the beautiful pink blush I don't use blush as much but it is still a beautiful pink I like to put my cheeks a little bit sometimes and this one is just a lovely lovely uh, face palette backstage palette and the next one is another Dior backstage palette this one is for eyeshadow this one is in 002 cool neutrals and it does have a eyeshadow primer that you can like prep your eyelids first so here is the primer and then you just get a bunch of different like eyeshadow uh, like formulas and colors so there are it says that it has a highlighter and a sculpting powder I'm not really like a pro with makeup so I just use any color I like and I just put it on and there are three shimmers and three mattes so this one is a really nice palette and then next for eyeshadow, this is my all-time, all-time favorite Dior eyeshadow palette. This one is 3 Colors Try Oblique in 853 Rosy Canvas. And it has 3 eyeshadow colors. This is how it looks. My camera wants to focus. There we go. There are 2 makeup brushes here. And you get 3 colors. What I like to do is to get this pink and put this like on my crease a little bit. Uh, higher than that and then what I like to do is to mix these two shimmery and put that like above like where my eyelid is It just looks so pretty that this like pink eyeshadow look is so amazing I love this like eyeshadow palette if this is not available I would recommend getting any other eyeshadow that has three uh, Three shades. It's such a nice palette. I also have another one which is in like a orange uh, color and, but this is my favorite one. The pink one is my favorite. So highly recommend getting the palette that has three shades. And now moving on to some more eyeshadow. If you don't like like all the colors in the eyeshadow palette, Dior does have a palette or a single eyeshadow little palette here. I have the Dior Show Mono 530 Gallery. This one is a really light brown shimmery champagne brown color here. This is how it looks. And then the other one, I like to use this brown, like I said, on the lower for shimmery and then something like darker above it, which is this other one, which is Dior Show Mono 658. And this one is such a beautiful, like, um, really, really metallic, beautiful shimmery, like, it's like a darker brown. It's so beautiful. I just love these Dior eyeshadows. And then for a highlighter, 
This is my all-time favorite Dior highlighter. This one is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 001. I love it so much. Even the packaging is really, really nice. You get canage here. And then, here is how it looks. It's such a beautiful highlighter shade. I love it so much. My favorite. I'm not wearing any makeup today, only lipstick, and I curled my eyelashes. But this is my all-time favorite highlighter. I just love it so much. And then, now lipstick. I have a lot of lip products to show you guys. But let's start off with lip care. So first, we have the... Dior Lip Sugar Scrub Sweet Exfoliating Balm and it's just a pink like lip balm sugar scrub this is how it looks there are like sugar beads in there and it's like a lip balm so it's kind of like a two-in-one sugar scrub with a lip balm so what you do is just like apply it on and then you kind of like wipe it off because it still has like the sugar on your lips so you want to wipe it off just a little bit gently because it's a lip balm as well so it's like a two-in-one sugar and lip balm um, but sometimes I like just wipe the whole thing off because I don't know I just feel kind of like sticky because it's like a sugar scrub You don't want sugar on your lips. So after this I like to use the Dior Lip Glow The Color Reviver Balm and it's basically like a lip balm But it's called the Lip Glow and this one has a little bit of a pink tint to it So it kind of does it kind of for example, if my lips, like my temperature is hot, then it'll turn more pink. Kind of depends on like your temperature of your lips. But this one is one of the lip balms. And then the new Dior lip balm is uh, this one here. It comes in the new CD initial packaging. And it, it is also, um, what's the word? Refillable. You can take it out once you run out of the lip balm. It's just a clear white lip balm. Once you run out, you can buy another one, which I think the refillable one is $30. And then the regular one, where if you get like the whole thing with the packaging, is $38. So it just depends if you want to get like another packaging or you just want to get the refillable, take it out and put a new one in. It just depends, but I do love this lip balm a lot. I prefer this one over the lip glow actually. And then for some lipsticks, which is really, really beautiful. This is the one I'm wearing today. It's just kind of like a light pink kind of nude shade. This one is the Rouge Dior 772 Classic Matte. And it's just so, so beautiful. This is how it looks. There we go. It's just so beautiful. And I love Dior Matte Lipsticks too. I love Matte Formula the most. And it just looks so beautiful. I love the shade and the formula. And then the other one is also the CD, the new CD packaging. This one is Rouge Dior 760 Favorite Velvet. And this one is such a gorgeous, like, hot red pink shade. This is how it looks. It looks so beautiful. And this one is also refillable, so if you want to change the color or refill the color, you can just take it out and put a new one in. Simple and easy. And then now... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this other one. This one is the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. I have like a little sample. Uh, I usually use this a lot. So this one is kind of like a lip gloss and also a lip plumper. And it's just a light pink, cut like the lip glow. Basically, it's like a lip, um, what's it called? A lip gloss. And it just makes your lip kind of plump as well. It's kind of like a lip plumper. So... My lips are kind of small, but once you put it on, it's kind of like minty, kind of like, um, what's the word I'm trying to think? Like, well, yeah, minty, um, like kind of stingy, does that make sense? Like, it kind of like tingles your lips. That's why it makes your lips a little bit a little bit bigger, so it's kind of like a lip plumper. But this one is also great as like a lip gloss as well. And then finally, Dior Nail Polish. Does this count as makeup? It is categorized as makeup on the Dior website. But I do love the Dior Rouge 99 Red Nail Polish. And I love the Holiday Sparkly like, Glitter Nail Polish. It just looks so beautiful. Putting the red on the bottom and then it's glitter on top. It's a gold glitter even though it looks like it's white or silver but it's actually gold. It just looks so beautiful together. So I highly recommend getting these nail polish. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Trin. Use my hashtag CDRholics. Suggest a video down below. Take a look at my TikTok. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.